Hey guys, so I'm uh, continuing my series on just uh, quick succession um, videos on how to do certain things with Sitecore. Uh, today's lesson will be on aliases or vanity URLs, whichever you would like to call them. Um, just to give a quick explanation of what an alias is, um, it's not really a 301. Um, you're not going to be doing a 301 redirect. Something like that would either be defined in a uh, .NET uh, web, the, web, the, web config. Um, so, and you would have to install the IS rewrite for that. Um, or you could also have your developers, or if you're a developer yourself, you could define um, some sort of Sitecore item that uh, allows a user to define 301 redirects for the site. Um, but aliases are kind of different than that. So, alias is just a kind of a, a a pointer to content in your tree. So um, you could say that I want, you know, my home item to also be called uh, welcome. So slash welcome would also point to the home item. So when you go to slash welcome, it would load all the content, all the same content as the home page would. Um, there are some concerns I have with that. Um, First and foremost, that, that creates a whole issue of duplicate content when it comes to SEO, um, which I will also be covering in a future session. Um, SEO, I think that's a, a larger topic, so that's going to be something else in the future. But, you know, if you're in that scenario, um, I, I've written a blog about this. Uh, you, you should always create some sort of canonical URL structure to handle that, uh, HTML tag to handle that. So... Um, so if somebody goes to welcome, they would have a canonical tag on the on the page that says that this this page is actually the home page. Um, so that way, Google or even most other major search engines know what this know that this page is actually represented in another page. Um, so you don't have the issue of duplicate content. But anyways, that's kind of off topic. So I'm going to show you how you can define it for a page, um, and I'm also going to show how to add to or where these alias items actually exist. So everything in Sitecore is an item, so it's it's kind of cool that I'm showing you these these different options in the navigation, but they all link to an item behind the scenes. So uh, to get to an alias, uh, you can already see I have it uh, open on the presentation detail or presentation tab. Um, there's a URL uh, chunk here, and it's ca it's called just aliases. Uh, you have to have some sort of page selected. Ideally, this is a page that is, um, you know, it has presentation details assigned to it, has a layout, uh, has some sort of renderings assigned to it, and, uh, you know, is an actual kind of page on the front end. So I must go ahead and select aliases. And all this is is it allows you to type in, you know, simple, you know, names for this page whatever this page will so if I so for example welcome will all will map back to the home item so when I go to slash welcome it will load the home items information so if I do add then I have welcome as an option I can then select them and remove them if I want to but that's not really necessary here so I'm gonna click OK so now that's been defined. I have an alias. I can always go back and change it later on. Um, but let, let's show us, let me show you where these items sit within the tree. So if I go down to the system area, which I should point out that if you are a, if you're not an administrator, you're not going to see the system part of the content tree uh, or the system sitecore uh, part of the tree. Um, but if you are an administrator, you would see this area. So if you're an administrator, you can then manage aliases. Uh, if you open up the alias section, and you'll see that my welcome item exists here. And inside this welcome item, outside of these standard fields, you'll see that all it is is a general link field, and it's got a, um, basically it's, you've inserted a link to that home item. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. So I'll click this real quick to show that. So it's actually weird because it should be linked. But um, so if I select home, 
So now it's it should be selected. It seems like there's a bug there, possibly. But anyways, um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, pretty sh short little uh, topic here. Um, there's not much more I can add about this. Um, I'll go ahead and demonstrate that this is working. So I'll go ahead and publish item. I'm publishing this this specific welcome alias item. I don't really need any of these other options. I'll do a publish. Publish one item, which is that item. Now if I go to the front end, I'll wait for the page to load. Um, it's loading in an experience setter, so let me open in uh, incognito instead. So you'll see the home item. So that's that's all that's on my home right now. So if I go to slash welcome, it will also be the home item. So it, I'm on. It looks like I'm on the same page, but I'm actually, you know, it, it it's kind of useful if you want to create vanity URLs like, um, you know, um, some sort of special offer like special offer, you know, may special offer here. And then that just points to a, a item that you already have in a tree. Maybe it's a much deeper article. For example, you could have some sort of article listed in your your content tree, and it's in a very deep location. And now you can create a vanity URL or a alias that makes that URL much higher up. Um, but yeah, so um, but like I said, you need to worry about canonicals for this. I will show that in the a session on just SEO with Sitecore. Um, all right, so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, and that's it.